Let's factor the equation x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. And we use these guidelines here to help us do that. First off, we need to set up a skeleton equation. I've already done that here. Next, we can add the signs to our skeleton equation. So we have a negative here and here. If both the middle and the last term are negative, we're going to put a positive and negative in our skeleton like this. Next, we'll find the factors for that last term, that negative 18, and they're going to add up to the middle term, the negative 3. So let's write the factors for 18. So I'm looking for factors that have a difference of 3. 6 and 3. That works. So if I put a minus 6 here and a 3 here, 3 times negative 6, that's 18, negative 18. And then negative 6 and 3, that gives me my negative 3. So we factored the equation x squared minus 3x minus 18. We should check our work with the FOIL method. We multiply the first terms, the outside, the inside, and then the last. That gives us, and we can combine these two terms right here to get, which is what we started with. So we've done this correctly. Let's quickly find the values for x that will make this side of the statement 0. So we'll have 0 equals 0. That would be a true statement. So we could say x plus 3 equals 0. x would equal a minus 3. Over here, x minus 6 equals 0. Add 6 to both sides. x equals 6. If you put negative 3 in for x here, you do the math. All this would equal 0. Likewise, if you put 6 in for x, and you did all the math here, it would also equal 0. And if you used the quadratic equation, you'd get these exact numbers here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 3x minus 18. Thanks for watching.